Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles and we're in our western base out here in the desert just near Sepamaru, the city of the relic hunters which is where we're going in a few minutes because today I want to tie up a few loose ends and one of those loose ends is going to visit Rasmus quarters which is quite a law heavy environment and I picked up the key to Rasmus quarters when I battled the witch queen down here in the forgotten city of Zelhar uh, the Celestial Plaza, yeah, Palace of the Witch Queen. That's where you fight her. And amongst other things, you pick up this key, Key to Rasmus Quarters, which is in Sepamaru. And as well as doing that, there's like a mini boss over in the unnamed city I want to take down, because I've seen him a few times now. I never tangled with him. And I also want to go and learn that the uh, religion of Xanth, is it Zath or Xanth? I can't remember now. It's the Spider God religion. Because the Spider God religion was introduced in... I th yes, it was introduced on the Isle of Sipta. And I had no idea you could learn it here as well. And it was only when I accidentally stumbled across a priestess of Zath that I realised you must be able to learn it here. And I found out where you can learn it. So we're going to do that. And that will also entail a fight with a, a demon spider, I think. So that's something to look forward to. But we're going to look at Rasmus Quarters. And they're quite close to uh, Conan's Tavern. So we're just going to climb up into Sepamaru, which is here. The happy hunting ground. Oh, no, he's attacking everyone. Stop that, stop that. Bad, bad, bad. You defend me now. That's it. Come here. Come. Are you going to come over here? Right, yeah, and don't attack anyone. Um, okay, right. So I've got to go down here. Yeah, to explain, this is the temple quarter up there, I think it is. I'm looking at the temple quarter. Is that it? Yeah, the temple quarter. So if you go along here... Hmm, you say. Here is Conan's Tavern. There... We'll just have a look at Conan. See what kind of company he's uh, keeping these days. Hello, yeah. <laughs> the usual debauchery going on behind him. But Rasmus' place is along here, I think. Let's see if I can find the... Where on earth is it? It's a place with an open door. Is it down here? Oh, I thought it was quite close. Perhaps... Is it down here? No, that can't be it. Oh, it's a little bit disturbing. I thought I had it. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we're going to have to do a bit of running around. It's a shame that these city gates don't have names. You know, ev even if you had like a carving of, of an animal above them or something like that. Some way of identifying them all. Um, oh, that is irritating. I thought it was here. I thought it was one of these houses, but it's not. Certainly not along here. Okay, well let's run around this bit. Sorry about this, I thought we'd go straight there, but... Not to be, not to be. So this is like the land bridge that... That divides the two halves of the city. Bit old swamp on that side. Is it down here? Uh, I think I know where it is, yeah. Well, we think I remember now. Gonna have to go through here. We're gonna have to go past the prison. Which isn't a hardship in itself. If I can get some stamina going. So this is like the back gate to Sepamaru. This is how I think of it anyway. You might think it's the front gate. We go around here. This is the prison. Just ahead of us. So if I look on the map. Come on. Uh, yeah, West Wall and West Wall Prison, I think it is. Come on. West Wall Prison, yeah. 
So we just go past this. Past this bunch. Anyone interesting here today? I haven't got any capturing Woo! materials on me, so it won't make any difference. Hey! They're always shouting and yelling, making a nuisance of themselves. Alright, let's get some water while we're here. Bit of a drink. Glug, glug. Hop. And what we want should be round here. Now, please, please, please let it be round here. <laughs> Is it? This is it here, yeah. That's it. So there's the door. So it's partially open. You can't get in there without the key. But it was this building I, I remembered as being Conan's Tavern, but it's not, obviously. And up here, this is quite fun, if you've not come across this, you can interact with this thing here and learn the uh, Relic Hunter armor. Um, right, well, my first ever time inside Rasma's house. And Rasma is the woman you see up on a cross in the opening credits to uh, Conan. And uh, she's got quite a complicated backstory. I can't remember how much of that we discover in here, but I can fill you in on the details. Can we just go in, please? Press square. How do I get in here? Come on, I've got the key. That is Rasmus quarter, surely. I've got the key. I did bring it, didn't I? There, there it is, look. Yeah, a key to open the door to Rasmus quarters. So how do I get in? Well, I'm just... There we go, look, it's open, it's open. Oh, nice, the door actually opened. Right, piss off you, go on over there. Let me in. Excellent, look at all this. Nice. Oh look, oh, she's stuck in the floor. Are you, are you Rasma? Oh she is, Rasma of Shem. <laughs> okay, can I use these? Oh no, of course I can't, can I? <laughs> I keep thinking I'm in Fallout 4, or I can just go out to a workbench and start using it. Is there anything else to see in here before we start that? Can I climb? Can I climb up there? Yeah, nice. Just having a look around, just be nosy. Don't mind me, miss. Don't mind me. I thought there might be something up there. Nah. It looks like there ought to be something on there, though. Uh, let's climb up the shelves. Is there anything there? I thought there might be something hidden. Up. Down. I could live up here. Why am I building big houses when I can just live on this little platform with Rasma? All right, let's chat to you then. I wanted to thank you. Ooh. The woman that you met in those ruins. That was not me. She was ancient and wicked and powerful. Okay, so the woman she's talking about is the Witch Queen. Because it's, it's all a bit weird. It's all a bit confusing, this bit. Because apparently the Witch Queen that we kill um, took over the body of Rasma. It's all a little bit involved. <laughs> but when we kill the Witch Queen um, and get her skull and all this stuff, Rasma comes back here for whatever reason. But I think we do find her a little bit more when we speak to her. You almost killed me in that city. Well, I did actually kill you. I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible, awesome creation. While I wore the mask, I was somebody else. That's the mask of the Witch Queen. I was something else. Such power and knowledge. I stood on an island in a vast ocean. I could see across the water in every direction. And that ocean was time. I... I am sorry. It is difficult to describe. All right, more. All I oh, yeah. have are fragments. Her memories evaporate from my mind like mists above the oasis. If you have questions, you must ask them quickly. My mind is leaking, purging itself of all traces of that woman. 
She knew so much about these bracelets we wear, about the giant kings and the ancient war, about the darkness that lurks in the volcano, and... Just ask, friend, before I lose the nerve to speak. Okay. The bracelets. She made them together with the giant kings. The bracelets were imbued with the power of seven artifacts. The Witch Queen's Mask, the Diadem of the Giant Kings, the Tears of Two Races, the Shining Trapezohedron, the Star of the Champion, the Heart of the Sands, and the Black Ring of Set. The bracelets were created to translate any language for the wearer, to allow swift movement around the Empire, and to allow communication and recording through the Lore Stones. It was only later, when the war began, that the Queen suspected that the Giant Kings had included a death weave in the sorcery. Any who tried to flee their control were simply killed by the Curse Wall. Right, so the Curse Wall is what I've been referring to as the Ghost Wall. I thought the Ghost Wall was its proper name, but we'll let her off. Her people, the Lemurians, were the remnant of a desperate race. Her memories before the exiled lands are vague and confused. Flashes of an island kingdom, sinking as the world heaves. A people being subjugated with fire and sorcery. An escape, and a long, treacherous journey into the west. I'm sorry, it's fading so quickly. I remember a daughter, Telleth, and a great betrayal, and a grandchild. She was a mother and a grandmother. She knew what it was to be a slave and didn't want that for any of her people. She would stop at nothing to prevent it from happening again. Can you blame her? Right, so Telith, the daughter, supposedly has a bit of a carrying on with one of the giant kings which is quite interesting but that's all a bit vague um right let's see if she's got any more her mind shies away from two things her grandchild and what her people found in the volcano her grandchild was not truly human zaltar he was a hostage or something else I'm sorry. For her, these memories were laden with emotion. I see a beloved daughter, and a hated foe, and a child that brings hope. It is so very unclear. As for what her people discovered at the volcano... Horror, anger, and disgust. And fear. This is the only memory where the Witch Queen of Lemuria felt fear. Oh, it's all very interesting, I must say. I did a, another video about the lore of Conan Exiles, and it's all explained in that. So I won't spoil it here, but what's in the volcano is the thing that sparks off a, a war between the Lemurians and the Giant Kings. Sorry it's got so dark, you'd think they'd have a few candles in here, wouldn't you? Anyway, let's carry on talking. I truly don't know what I will do now that I have my freedom. Conan has offered to accompany me north, back to my home city in Shem. My palace awaits me, and the pampered life of a princess of Shem. But my enemies, the ones who sent me here, they also await me there. Perhaps instead, I will travel with Conan a while, see the world by his side. He is formidable, yes? Oh, yes. For a barbarian. For a barbarian. Any more? You almost oh, killed no, no, me no, no, in we're that done. city. Goodbye. Goodbye, Resma. I cannot begrudge you that. Yes, yeah, I just want to get a torch Such out. Such a terrible, Phew. awesome creation. While Good. I wore the mask, I was somebody else. You were, weren't you? I was something else. Yep, okay. Such power. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let's go. I stood Can we on open the door? In a vast ocean. There we go, there we go. That's it, that's it. That's it. It's not like we're not interested. 
honestly, I hate to be rude about it. Sorry, Razma. <laughs> yeah, basically, I think we do find fragments of her story scattered around the place. But she was a princess of Shem. Well, she is a princess of Shem. And she was kidnapped by the enemies of her father and brought to the exiled lands. And then Conan cuts her down from her cross. And then she has a few adventures. And then she ends up in this city here, the unnamed city, where a few people recognize her as the princess. And she becomes like a treasure seeker or a treasure hunter. And she goes to the unnamed city and apparently she discovers the, well, can't remember honestly, but I think she might discover the mask of the witch queen there. And that sort of transports her over to the ancient city of Zelhar, where the witch queen takes over her body. But I might be misremembering that, to be honest with you. But it's all connected in a very interesting way, I'm sure. Lovely moon set, isn't it? Very nice. And that's setting right in time for our little adventure in the unnamed city. Talking about that. So let's go and find it. Because there's this big sort of uh, skeletal serpent man boss I've been seeing. I assume he's a boss. I don't know. Might be wrong about that too. I wish I bought a horse now. Oh, you're right there. Yeah, I didn't explain. If you didn't see the last episode, Ramses is wearing... He is wearing the Slave Forged Guardian Armour, which I'm quite fond of. And you get this with the Isle of Scepter DLC. And I would honestly recommend the Isle of Scepter DLC to anyone, because it's very good. Very interesting, huge map, lots to do. And uh, yeah, lots of interesting lore in there. Most of it relating specifically to the Isle of Scepter, though. So what we've got to do is go over here try and avoid getting attacked by too many people but frankly the rhinos at this stage are a bit pathetic look I mean let's get a shield up oh well, let's try and find our shield come on damn it by the old serpent come on right, dead already dead already <laughs> I was waiting for him to attack and of course I turned him off didn't I engagement uh, attack all enemies please thank you very much look at that poor bastard uh, if we get down here, before we find this boss, there's something else I could show you which I think is quite interesting. I mean, it's just a big hole, but I, I think it's an interesting hole. So you're going to get a look at it whether you want to or not. It's just over here. I found this just when I was mooching about once. Let's get my shield up before I do anything else. Um, put that there. It's over here, this thing. And it's one of many sort of unfinished bits of the game, or at least areas that could be expanded, I think. I think that's the idea. Look, you got this thing. This massive rift, which you can't get through. It's all blocked off, but... Look, you see, that's as far as you can go. Isn't that interesting? I mean, there's an expansion waiting to happen there, isn't there? Can you imagine what's underneath the unnamed city? It must be horrible. Horrible, horrible. Right, let's go around the corner. Because what we want is next to this gate. And I've been through this gate loads of times. I mean, this is my route into the city, to be honest with you. But this is also where I bring... Well, let's have something to eat. This is also where I bring... Um, thralls I want to level up because there's a few sort of fairly heavy bosses in there well, no, not, not bosses but fairly heavy monsters and they're quite good for leveling up people I mean there's this guy come on he's nothing to write home about but to a young thrall he's quite a challenge a lot of leveling up there and then you've got these two skeletal serpent men. Which are quite unpleasant. Go on. Yeah, let's get this up. These guys have got a lot of bleed on them. Let's get the club up, the mace. Ow! Blood of the serpent! Enemies at the gate! Wacka wacka. Right, back off, back off, back off. Come Ramses, do something. Come on, oh, look at him. 
The name That's of it. Seth identify. I said they go on him in a minute. Go on. Damn, I, I hadn't noticed my stamina was so down. Alright, that one's finished. Ow. Uh, is that a steel pick? It's you. In the name of Seth, Oof. identify yourself. You had a pick as well, did you? At least. Well, they are steel picks. I'll take the steel. I don't really want another pick. I need a bit of glass. Oh, go on. Um, let's get some food down me. Some more food and top up on water. So I've got the sated buff. And the guy we want is over here. And this fellow is meant to drop. If it's the right one. If it's the one I've been told about. This guy drops some nice weapons. Or has a chance to anyway. Look, there he is. It's like a boss skeletal serpent man. Yeah, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with the designers about these skeletal serpent men. Because when you actually see a serpent man, they don't have, you know, horns growing out of their noses or anything. Because this guy's got... I mean, all the skeletal serpent men you see have got, like, rhino horns. But when you actually see a live one, they don't have anything of the sort. Three skull boss. There we go. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you brute. Come on, Ramses. Come help me out. That's it. Oh, no, let's just get in there. Come on. Oh, he's quite unpleasant. By the old serpent. Invaders. That's it. Oh, yeah, on Ramses. On Ramses. Right. Let's unlock. His back legs. And again. And again. Whoops. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> he must be blind as a bat. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Seth, did you it's going to be a fairly routine fight, I think. I'm quite keen to see what we get out of him, though. Yep. By the old serpent, invaders. Yeah, yeah. Blood of the. Whittle him down. Whittle him down, Ramses. That's good. I'm doing loads of heavy attacks, but they're not really taking much stamina at all, which is I'm very pleased about. Right, he's yeah. He's not going to last much longer, is he? No, no, no. You've got to be faster than that. That's right. Halt at the name Lock of on. Set. Halt at the name of Set. Heavies. Oh, oh, you moved away then. Sneaky. He's got a bit of life left in him, not much. Do you like the animations on these mace attacks? Woohoo! And you leveled up. That's another level up. That's brilliant. Okay, let's eat that. Alright, sorry, let's collect all that. That's legendary armor patch. Steel, fragment of power. It's all good, I suppose. All good. Nice! And your health is one. Look at that, level 17. His health is absolutely perfect. <laughs> Why do I worry about you, Ramses? Why do I worry? I mean, while we're here, we could actually nobble um, a baby, uh, what should we call it, baby dragon. So they live quite close to here. And I think killing a dragon, even a baby one, is a journey step. So we could try doing that, couldn't we? We might see another boss. Oh, come on, where are they? We were tripping over baby dragons the last time we were here. They used to be down there, I'm sure. I'm sure these are the spawning pits. These are the spawning pits. Well, right, there's a baby dragon. I'm a little bit peeved we've had to go and find you. 
Like I said, there was lots of them up there last time we were here. Now oh, the spawning pools, excellent. Look, there's a big dragon. There's a big one over there. Damn, I don't remember that. Damn. Oh. Are you ready to take this on, Ramses? Are you ready to take this on? He's got 73 gruel. Let's do the little one. We'll do the little one, then we might think about the big one. So I'm feeling quite cocky. That's it, that's it. Are you very tough? Right, I remember they got this like um pouncing attack. By the old serpent, invaders! Right, right, Ramses is just chewing through him. That's it. In the name of Set, identify yourself. Hey up, 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 up. Again. Hey, there we go. Destroy a dragon, journey step. I knew it. I knew it. Just chop you up. Let's get your stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know my own strength, it seems. Leather, dragon bone, flesh. Good, because you need dragon bone. Well, there's another one there. Look, we ran straight past him. You need dragon bone to make some armor and weapons, I think. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's not do it with my axe. Have I got lots of healing up? Uh, uh, sorry, I'm panicking a bit now. Okay, now I've got lots of healing. Is there corruption down here? Yeah, corruption, but I think we'll be okay for the time being. So what are you? You've got a name. Ugly. Can we do it somewhere where there isn't corruption? Let's go over here. Or oh, a chest. I'll take all that. Come on, if we do, come over here. We'll come over here. Well, there's no corruption. Gone stinky. Right, Ramses, are you okay? We'll run away. If this looks a bit hairy, we'll just run for it, okay? This guy's massive. Oh, fuck. I didn't know he breathed fire. I didn't know he breathed fire. <laughs> I had no idea they could do that. Where is he? Effing bastard. That has got to hurt. Look, he's got that pounce attack. That's just insanely huge. God, yeah. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, no, no, no. What's Ramsey's health like? His health is okay. Hold the name of set. Your health light. Oh, look at this. Right, run away, run away. Oh, crap. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go over here. By the old Damn it. <laughs> oh, and he's got a sweep attack as well, like the crocs. Oh, no. Um, I might help from a distance. I might. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm helping. Oh, we're going to watch out for Ramses, though. Damn it. That's it, that's it, that's it. You come over here. You chase me. Chase me up here. That's it. Away from the corruption. I can't run with this bow. Run away, run away. Damn it. Uh -huh. right, what, Ramses, come on. Time to step up, man. I'm, I'm distracting it. By the old serpent, invaders! My God, this is brutal. <laughs> oh, he's damaged. Oh, Ramses is okay. Ramses is okay. Um, I'm all right as well, really. I don't know why I'm panicking so much. Get him up the bum. Damn it. Right, run, 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 run. Over here. Get away from me. No, 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 no. Right, there's skulls over there. Don't get close to the skeletons. 
Um, take a bit of healing. Oh, look at this. I've got to watch Ramses, though. Um, what I might do... I've got some healing arrows here. Let's. There we go. Heal, heal, heal up. Heal up. You're going to heal up. Ugh. Yeah, I seem to be staggering this. Not staggering him, crippling him a little bit. Um, does he want me now? I need to get close enough to Ramsey so I can see his health. That's his health down there. He's okay. He's good. He's actually very good. What do I worry? Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it. Whoop. Over here. Over here. Yeah, dragon boy. He's down at half health. Oh. Ooh. Right in the gonads. <laughs> right in the cloaca, I think. I think that's what uh, a giant lizard would have, wasn't it? A cloaca. Ah. Right, yeah, barbecue time. Right, the sausage fights are back. Oh, no, there's his. I can see his bum. That's very unpleasant. Really, more information than I needed. <laughs> Jesus H. In the name of Seth, identify yourself. All oh, right, over here, over here. Whoops. All right, don't get trodden on. Don't get trodden on by the dragon. All right, try not to get trodden on. Do your best, love. Do your best. Crap. And that is, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> oh, deary me. Back on Ramses, please. Come on. Okay, I've done my bit. I feel. Let's get some potion down us. Where did Ramses go? Did he get flung in the air? I think he did. I oh, know he's there. He's there. Damn, we are we are chewing through the dragon slowly but surely. Ooh. Oh, ah, ah, oh, ah, ah. Whoops, yeah, avoid... Oh, I gotta say, I got away with that one. Scot free, but obviously not. Damn! Yeah, too late. Let's take a bit more potion. Hup. Right, Ramsey's health is, appears to be brilliant. Whoops. I can't believe the fact that when I first started playing this game, I travelled solo, I didn't have a throttle at all. And now I do wonder how I manage without them. In the name of Set, identify on. yourself. Uh, right, let's get over here, let's get over here, let's get over here. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. No, it's no, he's coming after us. He's coming after us. Right, this is bad. If he let's go over here. Try and move a little bit quicker than this, please. Come on, that's it. Run, 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 run. Uh, Oshon? Let's see if we can lock on and see what, what his health like. What's your health like? He's almost dead. Alright, this might... Alright, come back, come back. Um, let's take another one of the little ones. Take a greenie. And then just go in for him. Come on. Ramses, come on Ramses. He's down, he's down. He's down for the count. Look at you. You vicious bastard. Thumbnail. Uh, come on. <laughs> Is this gonna work? No, it's not. He's he, no he, oh okay. He, he's very gracefully dying. We'll chop you up though, can't we? Yeah, that's not nice. Oh lordy lord. Come on. Damn, look at all this. Wow. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But I'm glad I did it. 
good, yeah, we just went to murder a baby dragon and we ended up with a mummy and or daddy dragon. Right, so what are we doing now, I've forgotten. Oh, we're going to learn the religion of Zath, aren't we? That's good. Right, we'll have to go back home, I think, and get the horse, because that's a little distance. <laughs> yeah, so let's run home. We'll rest up, get rid of some clobber. Uh, yeah, then we'll go and get religion. Nice. Well, the dawn's almost on us. What I thought I'd do, though, I thought I would give Ramses a bit of a rest. I mean, Ramses is one of my Relic Hunter treasure seekers. And this is Rosida, who's an archer, but also a Relic Hunter treasure seeker. And she's been doing quite well. She's incredibly vicious. And she's just under level 11. Um, she's wearing barbarian armor. Is that right? Where is it? Yeah, Barbarian, so it's heavy. Um, I can't remember which DLC it is. It might be the Arena DLC. I'll put it on the screen now. But the thing is, it looks too big for it, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does look a little bit too big. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I would make her some armour like this. That has grown on me again. I always did like it on the Isle of Sip, so I've forgotten how much I did like it. So I've made a spare set. I shall give it to Rosida, because this should fit her quite well, I think. That's a bit neater, isn't it? That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And you've got your shield, haven't you? Yeah, she's got... Uh, so she's got the Brittle Bastard, a mace that seems to break constantly. And she has also got Black Broker's Fury, however you pronounce that. But uh, what I'll do, I'll just put away this Barbarian stuff. And then we'll shoot off. Nice, I've got Concord here and his lovely Patane heavy armour. This weird structure behind me is, uh, if you didn't see the last episode, this is just some arena foundation stuff that I've been messing around with. It serves a dual purpose. I'm hoping this might attract a better class of Purge next time round, if, uh, if the next Purge does attack here, not on my other base. But yeah, I like this arena stuff. <laughs> make tunnels and these big vaulted chambers so I can see us using that quite a lot in the future it's got to be the right location for it though um, yeah anyway something for the future let's get on the old horse and the place we're going to is over here um, yeah Weaver's Hollow and Scuttler's Shortcut these are both entrances to a large spider cave, and apparently we can find the guy who teaches you the Xanth religion down there. So it shouldn't take us too long on the horse. But uh, yeah, I've never actually built a Xanth temple, so that'd be quite fun. So we've got to go through Sandscow Pass, and then over to the Oasis, and a little bit beyond that. So here's the pass. Loads and loads of horrid rock donkeys. Let's slow down a little bit. Get our stamina back. Come on, let's just ride through them all. Yeah, get out of it. Over there, that building over there is where you can pick up the Seth religion. Sorry, not the Seth religion, the Set religion. So that's somewhere we've got to visit at some point. All right, what's going on? What is it? Oh, it's one of these horrid things. Um, sort you out. You got all these spitty bastards. Come on. Like spiders, yeah. Lots of spiders. And you're all level 11, aren't you? You are. You are. Yeah, nice. Let's get rid of this horrid gruel. Don't want that stinking the place out. Now I'm going to get up the old glimmer. Where is it? Because this glows in the dark. Um, and we want to be down here. Actually, there's only a bunch of spiders. So we might as well just have the torch up as well. Um, absolute pushovers, these spiders. So this is Scuttler's... Sorry, this is Scuttler's shortcut. Oh, go on. Damn it. I'll show you on the map. Yeah, this is Scuttler's shortcut. And we're going down here, and if we go all the way through, well, we will come out at uh, Weaver's Hollow, which uh, is nice enough. 
Loads and loads of crystals down here. Very good crystal cave. My fellows, oh! Is that new? It's all black widow wee ones. Can't remember. Oh, here's the crystals though. Ow! Here, yeah, check go on. Yeah, it's a good place for crystal and gossamer to make silk. And very scenic, apart from the rotten spiders, of course. Again. Come on. Look at this. It's very nice, isn't it? It's bubbly. Oh, come on, try and get him. Set will grant me cunning. He will. I like her I like her um, patter, I must say. <laughs> she hasn't really said much as yet. But when she does, um, I like her voice. It's one of the reasons I like having her around. Look. Yeah, some of the thralls have got really nice voices, I must say. Oh. Got a little bit of gossamer down there. Don't need it, I'll take it though. Hi guys! Oh, oh look at that, he went straight through it. You cheat. Oh, at least this one's not jumping through things. A bit tougher that one. Oh, we're getting down to the boss spider, because there's a demon spider down here. I mean I've had quite a few demon spider fights that you've seen, so. Oh look at all that meat. Uh, I don't really have much cooked meat on me, which is a bit worrying. <laughs> uh, I can always make a fire, can't I? I can always steal some of Rosida's gruel if I need it. So we got to look out for a guy. There he is. There he is. He can teach us the religion. So I've never encountered this guy before, so what I want to do is have a complete chat with him. Look at you. Hopagus the Hatcher. Right in your Halloween outfit, it looks like. Let's have a chat with you. Um, right, let's talk. Oh, go and say something. What? You bugged out, man. Try it again. Oh, he's not doing anything. Let's learn it. That's a shame. Try it again. Oh, Damn it, okay. Perhaps you can only hear what he says after you've killed the spider. That might be it. Um, right, let's do that. Just aggro you. Fair goods. Uh, shield up. Yeah, no one's impressed. No one's impressed. Hup. I'm a little bit impressed. A little bit impressed. Back off. Gotta watch out for his purple poison attack. Okay, let's get in there. Oh crap, there it is. Jump right into it. Damn it. Ooh. It really does knock you back, that. Right. Got a bit of time for the next one. And again. Ooh. Right, a lot of boss fights today. Oh, come on. Please, come on. I keep um, targeting him. I didn't know I could target priests. Come away, come away. Yeah, not fast enough. Mind you, he's half dead. Right, yeah, good, you missed. Take some motion. Concord's alright. I will cut your heart out. Hup. Back off. Whoa. <laughs> and 
Yeah. She's all about set, this one. She loves set. She's very religious. And again. Like the cobra exile, my bike is death. Again and again and again and run away. Whoop, yeah, watch out for that. It got me. Give you that one, Spiner. Come on. Back away. Oh. One more. And rest. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Again. Chop, chop, chop. Did I just get a head out of there? Did I get a head? Look at that. I got a demonic spider head. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've got a skeleton key, which the chest is down here, I think. Is that it? Better be. Yeah. Ooh, Baltator's Razor. Blade that weighs nothing. Health damage 64, which is very good. And armor penetration 23. Good, I'm pleased about that. Can we ever chat with you now? Have you found your tongue? Oh, torch is bust. Where did he go? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Oh, the torch is repairing itself. Come on. Da, 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 da. Are you going to say something now? Talk! Oh no! There's not even any subtitles. That's really strange, isn't it? Talk again? No, was he. Is he trying to tell me he's a mute or something? And again? Oh, that is a shame. Never mind. Sorry, Harpagus. Sorry about that. It's a shame. Never mind. Um, well, let's go through. We might as well go out the other way, which I, if I remember where the way is. Yeah, the first time I killed that boss, I spent ages trying to find the chest. I looked all over the place. I mean, I literally climbed all over this dump. And, uh, yeah, it was very distressing for me. So, I can't get through there. Yeah, and all the time it was just hidden behind that sort of central thing. That's not it. Through here? Yeah, this looks like it, doesn't it? So, this will take us out to Weaver's Hollow. Will it? Will it? Better? Where, where on earth are we? I don't remember this. Cannot climb. Is it around the corner? Oh, back here again. I don't want you. Is it over here? Oh, was it there? Do you sort of... I think you have to jump down. I, I, yeah, I'm ringing your bell now. I don't think I can climb up this. Can I climb up there? No. Yeah, what you have to do is you go through Weaver's Hollow, then I think you come to that ledge, and then you have to sort of jump down. Ow, crap! Bastard thing. <laughs> go on. Go on, get it, Roz. Stop chasing the horse. Yeah, okay. Shall we just feist you on this? Uh, yeah, not so clever now. Not so clever now. Have we got a storm outside? Sounds like it. But normally if there's a storm, it'll show up on the um, on the screen there. Let's go and have a look. Oh actually I think we're on the edge of the sandstorm here. So we might be hearing it, but not be experiencing it, if that makes sense. Yeah, there it is. There's the storm. Let's say we're right on the edge of it here. So you don't get the bad effect. There we go. Yeah, it must have passed. Yeah, I'm, I'll show you the map. The edge of the storm passes more or less just down there. So we're right on the edge of it here. Now that's cleared. 
But good, yeah, we've had quite an exciting day, haven't we? I'm going to go home now and have a bit of a rest. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you again for the next episode. And until I do, I shall say goodbye. Okay then. Cheerio.